question here got on the Instagram live. How can you help develop competitiveness and how do you draw it out? That is such a great debate question. And it's something that honestly, when I was recruiting at Cornell, um, a lot of the time you're out and watching games with a lot of the other coaches and you go out to dinner, or grab a beer afterwards and just kind of talk hockey with a bunch of the other people that are around uh, the other college coaches that are recruiting in the same places as you. And this is one of the most probably heated debate topics that you can have because I feel like there's two different camps. There's the one camp that says it's kind of something that you're born with and kids are either competitive or they're not. Um, and then there's the other side that says no, absolutely competitiveness can, it can be brought out and it can be learned. And I, I think I'm a little bit more on that side of it. I think competitiveness is something, it's, I think it's a habit at the end of the day. I do think you're born with or without on a spectrum, uh, a certain competitiveness in, your, in yourself. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you can bring that out. And one of the things that I love to do in practice, and I learned this actually from Keith Lane, who's the head coach at Yale. He was uh, one of the USA Olympic coaches this year. They, keep, they literally keep score in every drill in practice, whether it's a, um, a warm-up drill to start. They'll do some sort of a competition where like, if you miss the net, it's negative one points, and then there's a consequence afterwards. Um, Two-on-one drills, maybe doing a forward versus the defense, and really making it fun, but making it competitive where there's a little bit of a confidence at the, at the end of it. Um, I think that's, that's something that's really important. I, I am on the spectrum that that is something that could be learned, but at the end of the day, it is a, a habit. So as a coach, what you, I think, have to do is you have to be very consistent in your feedback on the competitiveness thing. So if a kid is not bringing it in, in a certain practice, that feedback has to be there. If a kid is really bringing it, uh, that competitiveness has to be there. And I think, too, I think positively rewarding the kids who are competitive in practices and games uh, by either positive affirmations in front of the team or by rewarding somebody with some more ice time. Um, I think that's, that's a great way to bring it out in people. It's a little bit of a almost positive, not necessarily peer pressure, but a, a positive way to you know, show everybody how much as a coach it's important to you. And by being able to do that, um, uh, I think you can help to bring the competitiveness out. But it's a, I think it's a habit. It's, there's certainly a spectrum that you're born with, but I think it's something that you can either get better with or get worse with based upon how much you, you bring it in practice. Thank you.